hey everyone welcome back on the channel today we are testing the new nvidia app for those who don't know that nvidia have just upgraded their uh, geforce experience into something called the nvidia app uh, today we will uh, take a first look at it talk through about a bit and test some feature tell you uh, it has like some pros some middle ground meh type of features and some con slash bugs so we will talk about it all this video is gonna be a little bit longer than usual so try to stick with it you will get some more information and yeah let's begin without any further ado so first if you go to that site uh, you can download the new nvidia app which i will be linked in the description and now i'm gonna get some uh, overview like which features are you getting with it then i'm gonna jump back to the app and show you in practical and then test the features so first uh, if you install the app you get to choose like uh, which kind of driver you want to use with your pc mm, like game ready driver or a studio ready driver and after that uh, you get to the uh, nvidia control panel options which were previously on the uh, right clicking on the desktop and then you can go to the control panel this is still here if you want to use that uh, control panel you can you still use it from here but that thing also has the uh, built to the nvidia app like you can choose it from there after that you can use the shadow play shadow play has some mixed feelings i have some mixed feelings about the shadow play new new shadow play which i will talk about it uh, later and then you can also have the uh, hood the hoods are also like uh, mixed feelings some some things are good some things are bad uh, i will talk about it everything and the best thing about this driver is uh, this ai enhanced things like rtx dynamic vibrance and rtx hdr so dynamic vibrance what does it do like if your game looks like this uh, you can use dynamic vibrance and your game will look like something like this uh, i will also show you this demo like i have run the GK gta 5 in the background which i will show you in a bit the rtx dynamic vibrance and uh, you can also use the uh, rtx hdr which is basically like if you are using an hdr monitor uh, and playing a game which does not support hdr you can use uh, rtx tools to uh, turn the hdr image into hdr so this is also a good thing but i'm not a big fan of hdr because hdr actually requires a monitor which has like uh, more than thousand nits of brightness and most typical low-end gaming monitor tend to be like around 300 uh, to 250 to 300 400 nits so uh, the hdr is a like uh, not very good thing for the low end uh, monitor users but rtx dynamic vibrance is very good like if you have any rtx gpu you can use this one uh, i will show you around so yeah this is about the change log and overview of the app now jump back to the we're gonna jump back to the app and show everything in practical mm, so first here uh, for when you open the app for the first time you get to choose which uh, like uh, why you want to use this uh, driver uh, for gaming for a studio you get to choose uh, uh, the either one and your setup will be uh, like that so when you open the home page uh, you get to this uh, uh, this panel and the best thing about this app is that you don't need to log in to use this app like if you uh, even don't log in you can uh, use this app fully the only login required is in the redeem page like if you uh, want this uh, currently it's going on like uh, cod mw3 login bonus something like if you log in you get some xp bonus or something so only for that part you will need to log in otherwise you can use the rest of the apps without logging in uh, so <coughs> okay i was just checking that if the recording was going on or not because there is no indicator so there was indicator earlier but it's now it get hidden so this is a bug i will talk about everything uh, later like the bugs the good things and bad things uh, so first the good things are yeah which i showed you earlier that uh, there is no login required right now and after that this graphic setting this is also a good thing like uh, the nvidia control panel setting everything is here uh, you can choose program setting global setting and it is very snappy very fast like if you open the nvidia control panel it takes few seconds to open up there and if you go to the manage 3d setting it's also takes some times to load 
there if you go to program setting it will also take up some time but in this app everything is faster program setting global setting whichever you want to select grand theft auto apex legend everything is very fast here and also this has a modern looking ui so yeah this is a pro in my opinion um, after that uh, you can go to the um, redeem option you can redeem your uh, codes and give away or whatever is going on right here and after that you get to setting you can see every uh, other options of the app like notification system whichever and now uh, i'm gonna get to the uh, middle ground of the uh, app which are like mixed feelings like uh, the z force experience shadow play so if you press alt plus z a new uh, hood type of window or uh, overlay will come back from left side uh, previously it was uh, around the right side uh, in this area like there is a box of this type in which you can see the instant replay the recording the broadcast and everything it was uh, pretty good in my opinion it is uh, the old one was better than uh, these options because these are very small and you have to like uh, have to adapt to this uh, overlay if you don't know uh the new settings you will have to find everything like search and find which option is which which is uh, which is where it is see so uh, here you can see the record start stop button like if i click this one it will instantly get uh, stopped recording no like start or stop like one click start one click stop after that instant replay uh screenshot it is see and now if you go to the setting of the uh, geforce uh, experience you can see some uh, options here but there is a little bug which i will show you uh, if i go to audio um, you can see that uh, the mic is turned on this is my mic logitech uh, hd webcam this is my primary mic but right now the audio you guys are hearing is being recorded through my mobile phone because this app's uh, audio is currently buggy like uh, the audio is not being recorded with this app i don't know it's maybe a beta version problem or something so we'll uh, maybe uh, wait for an update or fix uh, now the next thing is uh, about the hood uh, experience like if i go back to the game of gta 5 um, wait let me first take on the overlay okay uh, at the right side you can see the overlay now it's gone yeah uh, when i turn back this more more uh, this uh, overlay page you can see that fps is here recording being shown here and those are very small like very minimalistic type but i liked the previous one because they had like a little green accent to show you like you are using the nvidia uh, even graphics card and everything so also when i hide this one uh, you can see that the either the wood gets like uh, turned off or uh, hidden away uh, so yeah this is a little problem slash bug maybe they'll fix it and uh, now i'm gonna show you another thing uh, the um, rtx uh, dynamic vibrance so right now i have not activated that so if i press alt then f3 uh, then i get to this game filter option this is uh, the old old game filter type of thing but a little bit changed ui and some extra additional features like you get the basics details old flame sharpen everything and with that the rtx dynamic vibrance like look at this uh, look at the game Mm, how is it is looking now when i turn this on there uh, it's not anything game changing but you can see a little bit like a saturated color there on the uh, tree on the wall here and also uh, like a little bit saturated and little bit vibrance uh, i'm gonna turn it on and off and show you guys like how it looks there if i turn it off it looks like this and if i turn it on it looks like this you can also modify it by some margin like intensity how much harder you want and how much saturation of the game you want like i've set it to like 50 50 i'll set it to like 50 and 50 mm, and yeah you can get this uh, rtx dynamic color boost uh, it adapts to the like uh, game content whichever is showing on your screen and boost the color according to that so yeah it's a good thing but there is still uh, some work uh, they need to do to make this uh, software more uh, usable because the audio is fully glitchy it is not being recorded at all uh, like even if i try different mic it's not my mic issue uh, i have tried different mic uh, like my headphone mic but it's still not recording uh, so yeah this is the rtx dynamic feature uh, we talked about and 
if we go back to the app again you can see it's pretty fast faster than the nvidia control panel uh, so yeah mm, this will be uh, it guys uh, if you like this uh, app uh, you can download it right now it's on the beta stage uh, so you will have to be careful uh, like there are some bugs and glitches comes with it uh, so you can give it a try or you can wait for an stable version to wait uh, to be out uh, so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys like this the first look of this app how is it is going to be and everything mm, now i'm gonna end the video uh, you can comment down below if you have any kind of query slash question and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you cheers